So in this video we're going to look at automations within Active Campaign, and really automation is where you can take email marketing to a whole new level and it really really increases your effectiveness of your email marketing and ultimately the return you get via sales. So within Active Campaign you click on automations. There are some automations already set up here. There's a little test one so it can just edit this particular one for this video. So when you click on create an automation, you have this screen here and it basically says what's the starting point of your automation. And usually it's when somebody subscribes to a particular list. So for example, if somebody subscribes to my master list, I can click OK here, pick the master list, and then we have this nice little flow chart type diagram where we can set up the various steps that people go through with this automation. So we have a lead page, for example, or somebody signs up through our master list through a form on our website. They come into the master list here, and we just click on the plus button and say, what do we want to do next? The first thing we might want to do is send them an email, for example, and we can create an email in here and give the email a name, and that email will go out, and that's the next step that will happen in the process. So you need to create that email as well, and that brings you into the design element of Active Campaign, where you set up a email. So you write the email there that's going to go out to people, and the first step, and that email might be, for example, here's your ebook, here's a link to your webinar registration, here's a link to your offer, here's a link to, to buy the product, whatever that might be. And then we can click on save. We have nothing in there at the moment, just for test purposes. But that's where you would write the email, and that's the email that would go out to your list in the second email. So we may have to put something in here just to get it to save. We click on next, and now we click on finish. So we can now say send test email. So this is a, the, the second email, as I say, that will go out. Then the next step is you might want to wait for a day. And then the next thing you want to do is what we call the if then else. And there's lots of different automations you can do, but this is a fairly popular one to do. So for example, you can click on if then and you can see what actions they took within the email. So if somebody has clicked on the link of this particular campaign, so I'm going to pick a, a previously written campaign that has a link in it. So if they've clicked that link, if the answer is yes, then you can send them a new email. And that email is based on the fact that they have opened that email and also clicked on the link. So we click on save and it will take you through the process of writing an email that corresponds with what you want to say to that person who has opened the email and clicked on the link. However, if they haven't, then you can write a second email that only goes to the people who did not click on the link and therefore are missing out on the offer or something you want to say to them based on the fact that they didn't click on the link. And that's just a very, very simple automation which isn't available in Aweber and I find it a bit hard to set up in MailChimp but I find it really, really easy to set up in ActiveCampaign. So there's a number of different options you can have. You can end the automation, for example, if they didn't click on the link and then, you know, if the email goes out and you can wait another day and then send them another email you can check on the link on that one as well. So you can map out what you want to happen as soon as they join a particular list. You can also add a segment as well. You can add a tag. So for example, one particular use here is that if you send out two or three emails and people have clicked on every single link, then you can check that they have and you can even notify someone and that someone it could be yourself to say check out this list of people who are opening everything that you're sending them because maybe you want to give them a call or maybe you want to send them uh, something in, in particular as well to do with a, a course for example. 
So that's how you set up an automation in ActiveCampaign.